Good. We're going to stop right there. Okay. Now you can empty out your tip. Hey, it's Rich Birdsell, and we're at Bank Euphoria. Here's episode two of Odd Jobs. So today, apparently, I'm making scones, and I'm trying to decorate a cake. We'll see what happens. Lava, not water. All right, so we're not going to tell you what everything is in this. I don't know that's your recipe, but uh, for right now, it looks like I just got uh, stuff. Yeah, it says it's your scone and dry mix. Loud noises. You need one cup of sour cream. I'm going to have you actually put it into this bigger bowl. Okay. This is, uh, so this goes in the bigger. You got to remember, uh, Buddy Malastro gave us a 9 out of 10 on our scones. Without it, yeah. So yeah. this goes in here, right? Yep. And then you're going to add a thing of baking soda. It's going to sit in there and you're going to stir it up and you're going to let it just sit for a little bit. Okay. Scones are one of my favorite things in the whole world. Trying to get a free scone. And then we're going to let it set aside and you're going to watch the chemical reaction that will take place with that. Is it going to turn into foam? What's it going to happen? It's going to grow and get really light and fluffy and delicious looking. So when I'm mixing it with this, I basically can only cut it in, right? Because I mean, it doesn't work like a spoon. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This particular part doesn't make any difference how you do it. As long as you just get it in there. And that's good. You can just set that aside. How's it doing? Yeah. So you want to take your... Okay, that will work. It'll be harder now. Know. What you really <laughs> want to do... You want me to take it back out? No. What you want to do is cut this in. See, I was going to have you cut it into pieces first. I can so do you that. might as well take your soft one and make it a little easier on yourself. And I will have one of them more firm. This must be enjoyable for you. I can see where... It's relaxing. Yeah. So like this? Yep. So what's going to happen is we're going to cut this into really fast motion. Ready, go. We're going to take that and you're going to mix it into that bowl. And this is where the real fun part comes. I want to take your watch off for this. Okay. You're going to... Get those two cups of blueberries in there. Don't let it go too long. They're frozen. It, yeah, you want them frozen because yeah. if they're not, then they turn to mush on you. But but it's okay. Your hands are going to stay in there anyway. You're coming back to them. There you go. Now start mushing it all together. The fun part, this is why Luke probably would put this all in the bowl and do it from there because I always have to chase the blueberries everywhere. Yeah, that's all right. But he, and he's mastered this. But this is why it's a messy job. If you want to knead, you don't have to squeeze it to death. Because <laughs> you're trying to, you're going to make all these blueberries, all their insides are going to be on. I wanted to get it all mixed together. Yeah, but we're kneading it, remember? We're going to work it in slowly. Oh, I need a scone. So we have a nice, tender scone. It's a nice scone. That's right. Treat it with lots of love. And then we're going to cut that into six pieces. Six triangles. So we're going to make a pie. <laughs> Then you can lay all them out here when you're done. You want to separate them a little bit when you put them on the sheet and they bake, though. The worst looking scones on the planet. Just saying. That's where you got to yell, oven open! You want oven open! Is that your middle? Is will you be able to fix whatever horrible mess I'm about to make? You're gonna make a um, ocean theme cake. Right now, as you can see, that is a starfish that apparently could be like remade into coral, and I don't know how to do that. But that's what I'm doing. Is I'm shoving fondant into this, and it's making this. And it looks like that. Ta-da! Okay, me doing the starfish was a horrible idea. The starfish is like struggling to survive. So this is actually supposed to look like beach sand. It's going to hit your cake. There you go, look at that. Uh, not coming out that far is not what I meant. This was your horizon line right here. Okay, so I'm going to go. There you go. Slightly. Okay, now perfect. Now go as if your sun is reflecting. Kind of, yeah. All right, 
it's time for sand application. Uh, how do I prevent the sand from going all over the freaking place? Control it with where you pour your hands. Here, I'll give you an idea. Oh, look at that. You feeling really confident now? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. See if we can just take this and go. Done. Yep, That's just a dead fish. Washed up on the shore. Oh, I think you got that. Oh, well, okay. I spoke too soon. Yeah, no, no, not at all. This is Bob's favorite song. You know that? You probably knew that. What's that? Freebird. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at what you did to me. Well, you gotta move the cake. I was moving me. Look at that. I will never be in the cake business with it. So what we're doing is we're glazing the scones. Get it all the way up the whole side. The whole thing? Around. Yep. There you go. Hey, they look great. Okay. Eat them. No, that thank you, but no. Watch out. That's it. Odd jobs. Baked Euphoria edition. We're gonna go make the entire radio station really, really high on sugar and cake right now. Yeah. Euphoric. Euphoric.